Are you soaking up the sun or popping vitamin D pills in hopes of boosting your health? Well, stop taking your vitamin D until you watch this video. Because excessive vitamin D intake can be just as harmful as its deficiency. In today's episode, let's see what are the dangers of excessive vitamin D intake and how to safely and effectively supplement your vitamin D levels. Without any further delay, let's begin. Number 1. Vitamin D Intoxication Vitamin D is undoubtedly an essential nutrient that our body needs for healthy bones, immune function, and many other bodily processes. However, too much of anything can be harmful, including vitamin D. When vitamin D levels exceed 100 nanograms per milliliter, it can lead to a condition known as hypervitaminosis D or vitamin D intoxication. This condition can show up in a number of symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, fatigue, headaches, and dizziness, and can even cause heart disease and kidney damage. Optimal vitamin D levels vary for every person. However, research suggests that levels between 30 to 60 nanograms per milliliter are likely the best. So it's important to consult a healthcare professional to determine the correct dosage of vitamin D and prevent the potential risks associated with vitamin D overdosage. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. Too much exposure to UV rays Vitamin D is a crucial nutrient for our body, and its benefits for our health are nothing short of miraculous. This fat-soluble vitamin plays a direct role in boosting our immune system, which performs many different functions to keep us healthy. However, despite its importance, a large percentage of the world is deficient in vitamin D. One reason for this common deficiency is that we tend to spend less time in the sun, which helps our body make vitamin D. Moreover, the sun's UV rays can be harmful to our skin, making it challenging to maintain a balance. Vitamin D is called the sunshine vitamin for a reason. It is mainly synthesized in our skin when it is exposed to sunlight. However, the timing of sun exposure is essential as well. Taking the sunshine vitamin from broad daylight when the sun is at its peak is not a good idea, as it contains harmful UV rays that can damage our skin and cause a variety of skin issues like inflammation, dry skin, and eczema. We should try to get sun exposure when the sun is just out or setting in. Always take precautions to protect your skin from harmful UV rays by using a sunblock or a good quality sunscreen. Number 3. Sleep Problems Taking vitamin D before bedtime can be counterproductive. This is mainly because vitamin D can affect the production of melatonin, a natural hormone produced by our body that helps regulate our sleep-wake cycle. Melatonin decreases with age, and taking vitamin D supplements too close to bedtime can interfere with its production, causing sleep problems. Therefore, experts usually recommend taking vitamin D with the largest meal of the day. Plus, vitamin D is fat-soluble, which means it is stored and metabolized in our body with fats. So try to take your vitamin D with a meal that contains more healthy fats. Number 4. Hypercalcemia Vitamin D also helps our body absorb calcium, which is good because calcium is necessary for strong bones and teeth. However, taking too much of it can cause our body to absorb too much calcium from the food, leading to high levels of calcium in the bloodstream. Having too much calcium levels in the blood is commonly referred to as hypercalcemia. Anyhow, high levels of calcium can not only put an extra burden on the kidneys when they try to filter it out, but can also cause kidney stones. Not only that, but high calcium levels in the blood can also cause high blood pressure, irregular heartbeats, and even heart disease. Additionally, too much vitamin D can also cause digestive issues, such as nausea, vomiting, and constipation. So if you are taking vitamin D and experiencing such issues, it could mean that either you are taking too much vitamin D or there is too much calcium in your body. Therefore, it is important to be mindful of how much vitamin D you are consuming and always consult with a healthcare professional before taking any supplements. Number 5. Increased Risk of Diseases 
While vitamin D is important for many bodily functions, including bone health, it's important to remember that excessive supplementation can be harmful. In fact, research suggests that high levels of vitamin D may be associated with an increased risk of falls and fractures, as well as cardiovascular disease, cancers, and other health problems. When vitamin D is absorbed through the intestines or synthesized in the skin through exposure to sunlight, it undergoes several metabolic processes in the liver and kidneys to form an active form called calcitriol. Calcitriol helps to increase the absorption of calcium from the intestines and promotes the release of calcium from bones into the bloodstream. This can cause degraded bone health, leading to a high risk of developing osteoporosis and a high risk of getting fractures from falling. Not only that, but calcitriol can also stimulate the kidneys to reabsorb more calcium from the urine, putting an extra burden on the kidneys and increasing the risk of developing kidney stones. Plus, as we already mentioned, high levels of vitamin D can also cause hypercalcemia, which can increase the risk of developing kidney stones, heart disease, and even brain strokes. Now let's see how to prevent these health risks while taking enough vitamin D. Although it's very unlikely that a healthy person's blood vitamin D levels would reach toxic levels, even with vitamin D supplements. However, taking too much vitamin D via supplements and foods together can cause vitamin D toxicity. First of all, if you are noticing the signs and symptoms of vitamin D toxicity, you should promptly stop taking vitamin D and get yourself checked to diagnose the underlying cause. Second, try to avoid taking vitamin D supplements unless advised by your health expert. Supplements have become increasingly popular in recent years, with many people turning to them as a way to optimize their health. However, while vitamin D supplements can be helpful in many cases, taking them without a prescription from a medical expert or taking them too much can lead to severe outcomes and health risks. It's always better to get your nutrients from whole foods whenever possible. As for vitamin D, many great food sources can provide this essential nutrient. Fatty fish, like salmon and tuna, are particularly rich in vitamin D, making them an excellent addition to any diet. Egg yolks are another good source, as they contain handsome amounts of this vitamin. For those who don't eat fish or eggs, fortified dairy products like milk and yogurt can also be a good option. By incorporating these whole food sources of vitamin D into your diet, you can ensure that you're getting enough of this vitamin in a more natural way. While it may seem convenient to rely on supplements for your daily dose of vitamin D, it's important to talk to your doctor and make sure you're getting the right amount based on your individual needs. In many cases, simply eating a healthy diet and spending some time in the sun can provide all the vitamin D you need without the potential risks of excessive supplementation. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.